The following thoughts on Happy Hour do not represent Cox Media Group or its sponsoring. Anything you hear may and will be used against you. Thank you. Call security! Ryan in Chicago. You're on Rover's Morning Glory. Good morning, Ryan. I like this guy already. I like this guy. This guy, uh, wow. All right. Now, do people tell you that you are a goofball or a... We met young Ryan Hop or Hoppy. Ryan. Okay, and your name? Ryan Hoppy. Okay, Ryan Hoppy. Where do you live? Oh, it's nice. Ah, so you're from the rich north suburbs. What's going on, Ryan Hoppy? This is Tony Rowe. Your buddy, Ryan Hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows who Ryan Hoppy is. He's, you never have to worry about offending Ryan Hoppy. Isn't he like seven foot tall? He's yeah. seven foot tall. He's And he's only, a, he's a kid. He's right. a kid. He's been trying to find his place in radio. Yeah. He's a good kid. He's just, I don't know. He spread himself pretty thin. And he's, uh, he's got good mentors. And he's motivated. Happy Hour is on now. Happy Hour is on now. Yo, what's up? This is Happy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Happy, for the next hour. I am here hanging out at the Kevin Holly Show Studios in beautiful, in beautiful, not foo. Beautiful Newport Reggie. What up, Kev? It's beautiful here. It's beautiful. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What up, AJ? The up? co-host of the show. What up, man? How's it going, man? I am doing good. Call the show. 856-49-HOPPY. That is 856-49-HOPPY. I will be sure to get to your calls in real time. Tonight at 830 from the Miguel and Holly show on Hot 1015 in Tampa Bay. Miguel Fuller will be calling in to promote Summer Jam coming up in June. At 9 p.m., Third Leg Greg, he is the host at the Amelie, where he does all the cool uh, antics for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah. He will be calling it a nine. He's the host Ooh. who talks to everybody in there. Third Leg Greg's the man. Good Greg day. Wolf will be calling at nine. And comedian Chad Zumach will be talking to us about the news at 9.20 p.m. Nice. We have a fully uh, yeah. loaded wow. show. That's a good lineup. How have you been, AJ? How's your week been? I've been all right. Actually, I went out clubbing for the first time this weekend. In How a long douchey while. was it? <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't douchey. It was actually a pretty good time, and I actually had a good time, and I was sober, and I didn't. Th- I didn't think that was uh, that was a possibility. Did you uh, use glow sticks or anything cool like no, that? No, no glow sticks. There's a, there's a lot of glow sticks around me, okay. but I didn't use it. I didn't want to fall into that glow stick category. Well, you know what's funny Although, when you go clubbing sober. Everybody looks like an asshole, so it makes them more fun. But then everybody's drunk no, or high, so you're just laughing at them. Damn, I'm I'm not that cynical. I just everyone was fine. It Were was, you like, like perverted the whole time, just like looking at skirts? Well, and how stuff? drunk well, was everybody? If every, you go to like first oh, Friday, yeah, yeah, everyone, it's annoying. Everyone was freaking drunk, and uh, no, nah, so like, but actually, what made it really fun was like the people I went with. But I just there's one, we had it. We went a group, and this girl was newly single. And so she just she wanted, was on the prowl. She just wanted to have fun, didn't care what was going around. But it was really sad because she was hanging out with this one guy in our group, and he was in love with her. But she's like, no, can't can't do that. So this guy, he's a you know he's a bodybuilder, but kind of stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how and, they all are. You think? <laughs> <laughs> no. kind, kind of stupid. So like, she was going. It was really sad that she was going around trying to dance with every other guy, and then he's following her like a like a. <laughs> <laughs> like a buff little golden retriever. Wow. And just just really sad and like she danced with him a little bit, so that's what kind of started him to like, oh, this is this could be my chance tonight. And then she goes to me and she's trying to pull her off of me and it was it was just a weird, but it was still fun no matter what. And How actually- often did you club, Kevin? Uh, I would say never. Uh, I think I went like a few times to like uh, Masquerade and uh, Empire and Ebor. That was about it back in the 90s, man. AJ, do you think you're going to go back to clubbing? Do you enjoy it now that you're sober or was it a one night thing? Um, I'm up for it again if it's with the same group. Hit me up. Of, it's it's with the same <laughs> yeah, same group of people. Yeah, I'll definitely hit you up. Yeah, you know um, you won't. No, I I will. We're friends. Well, we I know you can have a good time. It's just, you know, it it, it I don't know the club that we went to. 
is a little bit, I feel like would be a little bit too much for you. You got to start you off. Where'd you go? We went to the. Ri- I've been drinking for three years and I lived in Cleveland and we, I went we hard went every to, weekend. I can handle it. No, it's not saying that you won't be able to carry your own alcohol, but I don't think you would have a good time. We went to the Ritz nightclub. And why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I have a good it's time? A lot, well, it's a lot of EDM, and it's a lot. I of, love EDM. I really. I interned at a dance radio show in Chicago for eighteen okay. months. All right, I don't know. It's just, you don't know me then. All right, I guess I don't know you as much. But what do you think would happen if you were to bring me? Like, would I be annoying the whole night? What I, made you think immediately that the Ritz wouldn't I be my spot? Because everyone dances. Everyone's dancing. And it's, okay, it, so and then you, you can you, laugh at me for not being able to dance. What if you try dancing though? They'd laugh yeah, even that's, yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Yeah, no. So uh, no, I just I like I've never pictured you at the ED. There's like different moves EDM like dances. Oh, that like you got you got to be prepped for. Here's like, what I do. Whenever I go out and I get drunk in public, I Uber to the bar because mm-hmm. I'll never drink and drive because you're a loser if you do. But mm-hmm. what I always do is I just chill. I get drunk because, like, when I when I was in Cleveland, I would get so drunk that I would black out and I would remember nothing. Like the day I got fired on Rover Show. But ever since then, I get to that certain point where you're drunk and you're, as they say, faded or turned. But then you don't get where you're where you're going to throw up at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. You reach that certain point where your body goes, okay, I can't take any more, but I'm good. And I just chill there. And I appreciate the uh, vibe of a club, the environment. I like sitting in a lounge area. Like it's a it's a lot of fun, man. Uh, and and one quick one quick thing that I have. What is that? That, yeah, what is yeah? What, what, what is are you that trying chocolate to milk? This? Kevin has a white That's, cup and he puts it in front of you. What is that? It says not beer on it. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> trying to let everybody know it's not beer. That's, okay, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, there, you uh, there you go. All right, <laughs> we, get, we get this, the point. We got it. This isn't vodka. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, uh, I, I just wanted uh, two things, man. Number one, glow yeah. sticks. Glow sticks lead to mm-hmm. hard drugs. Yeah. Number two. Uh, I could. I don't know if I could imagine both of you together at the Ritz or somewhere like Why? that. Why? What? What am I not fun? No, no it, it, I just. Uh, you'd be too stiff. Why? <laughs> Who cares? And like, Who cares? Well, you're you, drunk. You're not having fun. Who cares? All right. All right. All right. You're right. You're right. Um, but real. Qu- <laughs> you're taking it so seriously. Like we all need to go with the etiquette of clubbing, and we can't just have fun. But I know. I, I know what would happen. Well, I, okay, okay. What would happen if I came? What Chris, would be so bad? Chris Brown. Kiss Kiss song would come on, and you guys would <laughs> both you dance. Like, yeah, yeah and you, 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 you would both up. have a great, the greatest time, and then something else <laughs> pops up that's from this generation. It's like, oh, this is shitty, and just walks <laughs> to the back of the club. I know I can be grumpy and I can rant at times, but going out and drinking's fun. Like, why would I be negative? Okay, like, right. I would be faded. I'd be turned up. I'd be having fun, man. I wouldn't. I feel like you think because I rant a lot via text that you think I would just be like, oh, that girl's a whore. That dude's a douchebag. Mm. I don't know if horror is the right word, but (laughs) carry on, AJ. (laughs) No, so, but like, it it reminded me of this. Like, I I have to tell this on the weekend. So, like, I, the guy that was like following around, I try to be like, hey, man, go dance with these other girls. Like, these girls are fine as shit. You're a good looking dude. Mm -hmm. And then he starts dancing. And then, like, once he's done dancing with that, with one girl, I'm like, oh, you see, there you go. But he's like, yeah, but the girl I love is right there. And then, and then, and meanwhile, she's like, she's like twerking and like you could see her (laughs) panties and she's making out with a girl. And like, has he ever, hooked up with her in any fashion i don't think so no. so then i don't know why he's so i feel like it's an ego thing because you said he's good looking and in shape i feel like it bothers him that the one girl doesn't want him so i feel like that's why he's so into her it's because his ego's like i work out i'm good looking why can't i get in her pants no, I, I think, think th- that's what it no, is i think the love like the love between him and because like they know each other really well it's like he's friend zoned hard oh, and he's in yeah. he really wants to and it's and and during the during the end of the night I'm basically airing out this laundry, but I'm not uh, bringing up names. So yeah, I yeah, good that. job. No, but uh, just at the risk. At the end of yeah. the at the end of the club, he's like, "Okay, so how about next time instead of going to the club, let's go to the beach?" And she's like, <laughs> "She's drunk as hell," and and she's like, "I'm not going on a date with you." Oh, she, oh. Then, she, then she puked on him on his shoes. Oh, jeez. Oh, he <laughs> It was still God, like, man. It sounds it terrible. Was still, although it was a really fun night, and honestly, we had a stripper friend that came with us. And oh, if yeah, you ever want to go to a club, what was his name? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> she was she was beautiful. Thank you. But uh, <laughs> if you ever want to have a good time at the club, invite a stripper with you. I would assume. Yeah. Although, mm. going to nudie bars, have you been to one, AJ? Yeah. It's sad. I don't enjoy it. I liked it at first when you're 21 and you're all horned up. But like at 24 going on 25, I would like to think I'm a little more mature. And it's just like, you go, what happened in her life? Like even when I watch I, porn now, I go... 
Why are you doing this? Like, I'm enjoying it, but why? (laughs) You're reading too much into it. What kind of porn are you watching, man? (laughs) Anything. I just go, why is she doing it on camera? She's not going to be able to get a job in 10 years when she wants to be an IT consultant. Maybe she Honestly, will. Maybe yeah. it'll help her out. I Honestly, know. I mean, it's, what she's doing is legal. It's not. Yeah. There's nothing against the law and doing porn or stripping. Hey, so. going back to your friend. All right, he's like, next time you want to go to the beach, and she's like, peeks on his shoes. I'll never go out with you anywhere. <laughs> and he's like, so we got a chance then? Is that what you're, oh I my mean, god! I feel bad for the guy. I feel like I should I, take I him f- out. I felt really bad for. Him. He's a really. He's a. Guy, he's a nice guy. How old is he? Um, I'm guessing 24. Okay. Oh Jesus! Yeah. You should know better by then. Yeah. Even yeah. I know better, and I'm nothing. And then another funny thing he did: some guy, some guy. This kid, this kid, you can like, you can write a lot of material just from what he does. Oh Jesus kinda like, Christ! Kind of like Ryan, but like, <laughs> no. So he, we were at, we were standing outside, and then some guy comes in. Hey man, let me get a, uh, you got a cigarette? And he just, he's like, uh, uh, looks at me, looks at his friends. He's like, I. I don't know what you mean, man. Get out of here. <laughs> and, then the, and then the guy's like, I get it because I'm black. And then he just leaves. Oh, that's wow. uncomfortable. Yeah. And he's like, no, because you're black. I'm, I'm sorry. And he's, and he's chasing like, him down. He's like, you want to go to the beach? I'm yeah. sorry, man. <laughs> he's crying. Um, you know, I don't want to take this guy out, man. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. I can't. He's a lost cause. I can't help him. Uh, nice guy. Just yeah. Yeah, he needs to. He needs to read a few more. He books. needs to go watch <laughs> porn and relax. Just relax. Mm-hmm. She's never gonna hook up with you. She's never gonna go down on you. You're never gonna kiss her. Move on. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah. Because but- when I when I was in Cleveland, there was this one girl who was a fan of Rover Show, but not of me. And like the first few weekends, we went out, and I think we just kissed. Like we just made out. You kiss, kiss, and all kiss. of a sudden, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. all of a sudden, I was obsessed with her. The last weekend, I was in Cleveland before I moved to Tampa. I thought I would get a like uh, goodbye BJ or at least hook up with her. So I'm trying <laughs> That's to. That's how it works, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm leaving. A goodbye BJ, <laughs> bro. <I need> a... <laughs> all right, Happy. Here's a goodbye BJ. I'm all your friend. <laughs> Everyone just gets in a line, takes turns. <laughs> Jesus. So, dude. Um, <laughs> Dude. So is that what, that's not how it works? <laughs> I thought that's how it works in Cleveland. Oh my god, dude, things are different up north. But listen, mm-hmm. so I end up taking her out clubbing, this and that. She ends up banging my friend's cousin, and I walk in drunk on it, and I went home crying. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. Wow. That is tough. That is really tough. And then she went on Rover Show like five months later, and she was banging a new guy that's answering phones. She that, banged everybody but li- you, man. Li- listen, Ooh, sorry. listen. What? So the guy that answers phones for Nads, or for Rover, his name is Nads, <laughs> he answers phones for Rover. They call him Nads. And he ended up banging her. So she went on Rover Show like four months after I got fired, like three years ago, and was like saying I was the worst kisser, <gasps> and I was awful to be around. Uh, I was like, you bitch. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah. Ribbiting radio out of shitty. Cleveland, and they talked about it for like an hour. And I remember I'm getting all these texts. They're like, "Dude, Hannah's blowing you up on Twitter and online." I'm like, "She's not blowing you at all." <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> She's blowing balls and nads and nuts. Uh, there was this one time I was trying to pick her up at the bar, like maybe after I got fired or my or close to the end of when I was working with Rover. And I'm at this bar, and uh, this guy recognizes me and knows who I am. He goes, "Er," he goes. You're happy from Rover's Morning Glory, right? I'm like, yeah. So we're talking. <laughs> he buys me a few drinks. So what happens is he I gives, go, he gives can you, some you be my... Sticks. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I go, can you be my wingman and help me get with her? And he goes, yeah, sure. So he first begins uh, by dude. helping me out. He's doing good. We go outside. They're smoking a cigarette. And I'm out there just chilling drunk. And all of a sudden... I think he saw that she was easy to get with, so he began flirting with her. And I go, yeah. no, 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 oh, that's just me waiting I, for her to come to me. And he goes, so what are you doing later? Blah blah blah. She ends up leaving for him, and I or leaving with him. Uh, dude, it's funny. I've kind of been on. I, I was, kind of, I've been as shitty as as your wingman once. Uh, we we rented a of we rented sure. a, well we went in a <laughs> during spring break. This kid, like some of yeah. my rich friends, rented a beach house, and we were there. This one kid, he's like, "Oh, dude, I love this. I like this girl for about a year. We've been talking on and off." And my bu- <laughs> my boy Kenny right here, I just saw him make out with her. Like that's so shitty. I'm like, dude, you're right. That is so shitty. Like, you know what? I'm your best. I'm your. I'm like. I'm one of your best friends. I'll never got do you. that to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like two hours later, who wants to do body shots? And yeah. then we were. And then she was laying there, and I ended up taking her down to the beach. She did body shots off your hairy red haired belly. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then so what happens when shows. you go to the beach? Awesome. What happened? Oh. <laughs> you hooked up? <laughs> yeah. You went all the way. Swam yeah, the we did. Slam. And then he's like, dude, what happened? I'm like, ah, she's a whore, dude. You don't want to do That's why that, that bodybuilder friend was asking to go to the was beach. Was it your you one you friend that I'm friends with? Did no. Did you get you to the T? No, no, no. All right. Just making sure. Dude, so AJ's friend, who's my friend as well. Mm-hmm. I don't even care if he hears this. He is so picky when it comes to women. Like, he'll have girls hang out with him that he could totally get with. But he's like, no, I like this girl that has big boobs. And I'm like, dude, you haven't been late in 10 months. Like, what, what are you doing? Well, well, here's the thing, though. It's like, it actually works for him. Because some of the, like, he's picky, but whenever he finds a girl. It ain't working like, if it's going on ten, almost a year. Yeah, no, no, no. But, time, like, man. well, that. But, like, I mean, when he finds a girl, they, they'll they go out for a while. Oh, he's yeah. looking for a relationship. He's not looking for just, I mean, that's just. Oh, what so he's like a duck. He's like a mallard duck. <laughs> All right. That explains the haircut, if, I think, if I'm thinking <laughs> of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I mean, you know, like, to, like. He's only been in like he's only been in two relationships and both of them are are hot. Both oh. of them are just like hot bombshells, yeah. and so like cool. it works for him. And, and dude, every time standards. we hang with him, he like brings up the one girl he banged. He's oh, like, yeah. oh my god, when like, Mia used to go down on me. Bro, names. Don't bring, yeah, don't, well that that wasn't her name. That was goddamn close. To me. <laughs> it was very close. He's like, when Mia goes down on me at the beach house, oh, I would miss it. It would happen in the in the back of the house and everybody would just be hanging out. He would, every time you hang out with him, it's the kid that you met. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. Yeah. Where's this beach house? I would like to go to the beach well, there's, house. Yeah. There's, there's, two be- there's two beach houses. Awesome. One was this kid who had it in like uh, uh, Madeira Beach. The other one's in Treasure Island. Uh, his, the one he was talking about was a Treasure Island. He just lived there. He basically kind of mooched off of his girlfriend's parents and the girlfriend was all about it. She was like, yeah, come on. We're going to live in the beach house for like mm-hmm. the, the whole summer. And so they were there, and a lot of lot of lot are, of stuff uh, went down. Are kids allowed there? Because you know, I got a couple kids. I mean, it's cool, right? Uh, if, if if you worry about if if you don't care about their health and safety, then sure, they can come. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, no, no, I mean, I, I mean, it, it, they sold it now. It was, it was like it's, they sold it about a few months ago. Is it vacant? Uh, no, I think. Well, Do you want to go check it out tonight? Actually, after the they, show? Didn't, they didn't sold it, but it's they're they they rented it out, and now there's All people right. currently living in it. We're talking way too much about the beach house, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't now, want... Kevin. Yes. Fun times. You're from <laughs> Chicago, correct? Well, Schaum- I'm from Sh- Schaumburg. It's yeah. just easier. It's easier to say you're from Chicago than Schaumburg, Illinois, um, or I'm from Arlington Heights. I think it's Schaumburg's just... a little better than Chicago. Is all I'm saying, man. <laughs> What? You're from the Chicagoland area? Chicago. Yeah. Okay. And then what age did you move here? Uh, I was 16 in 1993. Okay, so you have memories. Like some people like were born there and I moved immediately. Isn't it crazy to think that like when you move here, <clears throat> you can go to the beach? It's the weirdest thing because oh, yeah. even going to the beach in Chicago at Lake Michigan, you got to pay for the bus. You got to take the train. It's not easy to get to. It's crazy to think that right now we're talking about, yeah, we go to this girl's beach house. Like that doesn't exist up north. Like yeah. when you're up north, mm-hmm. you go, oh, He's got kind of a, a cool apartment in the city. I don't know, dude. We went to like Wisconsin and, and different places. I'm talking about easy like access. Like I live 15 just minutes from as, the beach. It was just as easy because the beach is closed like more than half of the I'm year. I'm talking man, about you know? I can go to the beach from my house in 10 to 20 minutes. Sure, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's, yeah, you live in a peninsula. I don't that's, know, man. I went back works. up there in my 20s. And Floridians and, don't appreciate it enough. It's amazing. What are you talking about? They don't appreciate it enough. Where are, the, where are you getting these crazy? Yeah, where are these? Why are you so mad tonight? Why man? are you so mad? At I'm, not, I'm not mad. I'm just like. It. Some like people my beach girl people. loves going to the beach, but when she went up north, when we went up there during Irma, like last August or whatever, mm-hmm. she was like, man. Florida's the best. Like, she didn't really know what she had until she saw that I'm from the boring suburbs where it was, like, 50 at night and you're looking yeah. at rich houses. Like, we have it really good down here. That's what I'm saying. And I feel like some people mm-hmm. complain, oh, it's 55 and cold out. Dude, it's been snowing until, like, two weeks ago in April. Like, we have it really good. Dude, I kayaked with a dolphin for 45 minutes yesterday. Isn't it amazing? In, like, a foot of water. This thing wouldn't leave. Now, did just you, all around us. <laughs> did, you, did you leave the hook in the dolphin while you're carrying it with the fishing pole? <laughs> it wasn't, was it wasn't the hook, AJ. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. You know? mm, little bait. Oh, little wow. bait, Oh, jeez. You know? Could uh, you imagine if you did that? <laughs> I waxed it. I waxed that dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I waxed it real good, man. Mm, oh, yeah. The dolphin loved it. He wouldn't leave. Um, but that yeah. sounds like a sex act. You know, you know what's actually Waxing great? a dolphin. <laughs> it is. Yeah, dude. You're like you know, your dolphin. 
<laughs> Come on, I'm buffing it out, man. You gotta polish that knob, dude. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know what was really cool about it, though, was the fact that, like, it fed, and we watched it feed, and then it, like, got lethargic, and it just kind of, like, swam and leaned over on its side and, like, laid down on the bottom, but it was only a foot of water, so its tail fin was sticking out. Yeah. And it was just, like, sleeping. It was a cra- He wasn't yeah. really sleeping, but it was, a cra- it was the craziest thing. Just, mm-hmm. I don't know. I got some That doesn't happen up north. You shovel. No, no. And you cry about it being 20 But you know what? Up north, months. you don't have to worry about snapping turtles. Down here, you don't have to worry about snapping turtles and, and, and piranhas and weird mm-hmm. things. And, I don't know, man. I guess it's safer to swim in a lake up north. Than it is to swim anywhere in Florida. You're going to die you know? of something. You can't go into water fearing it. Obviously, if they say there's a warning, you don't go in. But like, whenever me and my girl go to the beach, she's nervous about rays, and I'm like, you know what? If a ray killing me is how I die, whatever. Like, I'm at this point where obviously <laughs> you know, I'm big not. Gonna- that ray would have to be to kill Ryan Hoppy. <laughs> well, Come on. I don't. Th- I mean, I'm not. I'm not no ray expert, but I mean, the only reason why, like, uh, the only way it would really kill you if it hits like a vital. Like like directly like, with the like stingray. it did with Steve Irwin. Like, right like, in the yeah, heart, you know? that was a that was a mant- that was like a big manta ray. Yeah, we don't have those too. on the beach here. You know yeah, what I mean? No, I have... would be more scared of drowning. Like like a rip mm-hmm. current pull you out and you uh, can't swim back. And... I got pulled by a current once. Yeah? Sucks. How it's, frightening was it? Well, it, it's like <laughs> I was stupid because we were going. We were in Anna Maria and it like was like nine to nine to ten feet of waves and it was it was like storming out it's huge dude so like i was like oh let me go bodyboard in this weather <laughs> so then i was there and then it just pulled me under and then I, it was kind of taking me and i was trying to <laughs> i was trying to swim up but like another wave kept like yeah hit me that again. second wave will knock oh, you out and man. then but like, actually but they tell you if you're going through a like if a current takes you sideways right well side also sideways and also don't fight it yeah don't yeah. fight the current you have to let it take you because if you try to fight it your energy will go down uh you're not gonna have you're not gonna be strong enough to wear like so say if it takes you out a little deeper and you're just exhausted you can't swim back yeah dude i used to surf a little bit i still do in my 40s you i know? can see you doing it thanks you look man, like yeah. surfer dude I, no i was you're a, all cool i was a skater and i was a big skater but but mm-hmm. if you, like if if you get okay I, I tried to surf um it was tropical storm isidore at the time when back was in this? like 2002 something that's, like that that's a cool name it was cool. Nice. I went to Honeymoon Island out here. Sounds like right? a guy you don't want to hang out with. <laughs> now we got, now we got, now we got Irma. <laughs> that bitch. We got, we got Irma. <laughs> what the hell was that? So Isidore. Anyway, I went out there for Isidore, right, and mm-hmm. with a couple of friends, mm-hmm. and it wasn't that bad, but it was, it was right in Dunedin, and it was like a washing machine. So that's frightening. I fell out, and there was rocks at the time. Now yeah. it's cleared out, and I'm trying not to like get hit by rocks as I'm getting tumbled. And uh, yeah. when you try to come up and you try to fight that. What happened to me was by the time I, I barely had any breath left and I came up and I was gasping for air and that next one hit me so hard yeah. it rolled me over and I didn't get that breath of air. And I got right, but this feeling of nervousness. Did like, you ever think at that point you're going to die? Was there ever yeah. a time no, that I, it reached your I mind? I just stood up. It was like five no. feet of water. What about so you, AJ? I, was, I, could no, stand, yeah, I, th- you know? I, I thought like for like a, like a minute I was like, oh, I'm probably going to die. It's scary like, as hell. It really is, man. You know? Yeah. And and you know that that whole thing your life flashes before your eyes. No, no, that shit happened to me. I was oh, like, oh, I guess this is it. Um, I'm dying. <laughs> every Tuesday night on Happy Hour, I get that feeling. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. When you guys reached the beach sand and you're like, okay, I'm safe. Is it like the the greatest thing where you're like, oh man, I'm safe? Like, no, you know man, what it I mean? was a split second panic, and then it was like, I'm okay, and I I paddled right back out, man. I bet the panic <laughs> is what helped you. But the no, panic is what motivated you to get no, sick. No, no, the mm. panic sucks, man. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying it's fight or flight. I'm not saying you want the panic, Kevin. I'm not saying you wake yeah. up in the morning and you're like, you know what? I want to panic in the ocean. I'm just saying I think it's what <laughs> helped you live. Um, well, the, Adrenaline. I don't know, man. Uh, honestly, uh, AJ, y- you described it like kind of like uh, don't fight it. That panic yeah. helped. It didn't help me at all. Mm. The panic made it worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, I didn't get that breath of Maybe air I'm and I panicked. Right. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to die, you know? And well, well, what started with mine was like it took me out deeper. So I was out like mm-hmm. uh, I would say not a not a mile. That's fucking too long. But it was it was like a like a, a half a mile. It was a, a long time. It was a hundred feet. It was a hundred. It was a hundred more feet out there. Okay, like, probably a yeah. hundred more yards out there. And so like I was swimming back, and like I was just trying to avoid. Like my, in my mind, I was like, okay, I don't want to hit another current. Let me be really careful. I know I started on that point of the beach, so let me just kind of go around it. And then, but, um, but I thought you were Cuban, man. Can- <laughs> I mean, my swimming skills were impeccable. I mean, I was really, I was like a freaking motorboat just going oh through that God. water. But uh, no, the, the it was it was scary <laughs> was as hell. And as soon as, as soon as I hit the shore, my friends like 
hey, man, where were you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I asked this chick if she wanted to walk the beach with me. She's right over here. Where also, were you? Also, oh, also my head hit a rock at the oh, bottom, dude. and I was like, I was pretty sure. Like, what a day. That <laughs> what a great it. day to be yeah. AJ. <laughs> and then my mom, like, she's like, why are you bleeding? And I'm like. He was like, four years old at the time. <laughs> yeah, I was four years old. I had to grow up fast. <laughs> Kill my first shark. Could you imagine, man, getting bit? Even like like the small sharks that bite people, yeah. they're like pit bulls. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't imagine that, dude. They they don't let go until they realize that you don't have enough sustenance in your body. You don't yeah. have enough fat. Well, you, don't taste, you don't taste like a seal or something. You don't you taste know? like seal. So yeah. you're, you're, you're he's like, a good singer, <laughs> dude. Man, I was listening yeah. to Seal today, and I, you I serious? Sense, yeah, the song came out, and I was like, why not, man? That's that's my biggest regret, by the way. We had this cabaret night, and oh, like we would just do sing, like we would just do solos, and I wish I learned uh, Kiss by. Uh, Kiss by a rose. Wait, hold on. What is cabaret rose. night? What are you talking about? Yeah, man? my school had this thing where it would be solo. It dude, would be solo nights for. The I guess course. AJ knows how to sing. If you look at his social media, oh dude. man, come on, give us an acapella song. I'm not going to give you an acapella on. song. Come on, Alfred. Not, come on, come on, Albert. Happy hour. Happy hour. What's up? This is Ryan Hoppy, host of the two-time award-winning Hoppy Hour podcast. And I am proud to announce about my new sponsor here in the Tampa Bay area, Speedy Link, the best Metro PCS dealer in all of the Bay Area. They have 22 locations covering this great Bay Area from Dade City all the way to Sarasota. Maybe you're sick and tired of your current cell phone dealer and you're just thinking, man, I really want to switch to Metro PCS. If you go there to their main store at 7813 Palm River Road, and that's in Tampa, and you tell them that Ryan Hoppy sent you and that you're a listener of Hoppy Hour, they will hook you up with a great deal. What are you waiting for? Give them a call now at 813-626-0297. That's 813-626-0297. And visit them at 7813 Palm River Road in Tampa. Tell them I sent you. And now it's time for Tone Deaf Music Theater. It's five in the morning and I'm up having phone sex with you. So horny. And now I'm on the hotline over here at Lawson for you, so horny. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about bubbles in the top. Let's talk about making love. Let's talk about you on top. Or me going, mm, let's have a little phone sex, baby, on the hotline. What's up, guys? It's Ryan Hoppy from Hoppy Hour, and I am proud to tell you guys about my partnership with Electronic. They give you Bluetooth audio devices with an enhanced sound, so you can jam out to your favorite songs anywhere. You can use the speakers from such devices as your phone, your computer, or any Bluetooth capable device. You can also use it as a hands-free speaker in your car to take calls. It's that easy, I tell you. It's very portable, and you can bring them anywhere with its long sessions, which can give you up to 20 hours of non-stop power with a Bluetooth range of 30 to 50 feet. Now, if you go to Malectronic.com and at checkout, use keyword hobby, you can save 20%. That's Malectronic.com and at checkout, use the keyword hobby. That is M-A-L-E-K-T-R-O-N-I-C dot com. Malectronic. Sounds perfect.
It's, it's Fred, Fred from, from the Fred and Angie Morning Show on 103.5 Kiss FM in Chicago, Chicago and you're listening to Hoppy... Oh, yeah. Classy time up here at Hoppy Hour. All right. Okay. I have something I want to rant about, and I want to just lead it up a little bit. I just want to kind of get the juices flowing. All right. Listen. I'm really tired, man. I'm just tired of people not being able to take a joke. I'm tired of this fake outrage. Mm-hmm. At times, it's warranted. Like, there was a guy in St. Louis who was like a morning right-wing talk show host. I think his name was like Greg Allman or Allman in the Morning something. And he did a rant where he said that punk kid that survived the shooting last month, David Hogg, that he was going to put a pool cue up his ass. The thing that they play pool with, he was going to shove it up his ass. So he got fired for that. That's creepy. He deserves to get fired. But listen, I, I'm, I'm just tired of people not being able to take a joke. I'm tired of, every being, of everybody being offended by words and being uptight pussies and dumb fucks that are just offended by everything. It's ruining this country. It's ruining radio. It's ruining entertainment. It's ruining music. It's ruining TV. It's ruining podcasts. It's ruining your mindset because you have to be on edge to make everybody happy. And here is an example of a joke that's maybe not that funny. It's maybe not that entertaining. But you know what? It had good intentions. This joke wasn't one where you thought that the guy was going to act on it. That the guy was going to do something. If you honestly looked at this picture and you thought of violent images, then you have the combined IQ of four. Then you are a brain dead rodent. If you honestly looked at this picture and went, oh. Jay F- Feely is going to use the gun that he posed in with his daughter and his daughter's date to prom. Jay Feely used to be a field goal kicker. He took a picture with his pretty daughter, who's blonde, and this good-looking kid. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's really funny. Because and what he did was, what did he do, AJ, in the he picture? Basically, so, like, he's holding his daughter like in his left, in his left arm kind of wraps, it, yeah, wraps yeah, his yeah. arm around her shoulder, but then the boyfriend's standing to his right, yeah. and he has the gun near the boyfriend, as in, if you try shit, you'll get shot. And dude, it's funny, because, <laughs> Kevin, when you take your daughters to get prom dresses, and then they go to prom, I know you're not going to pose with that, but there's this certain swagger you must have as a father to have your daughters be protected. Oh, and what I've noticed is, everybody that's upset by this picture of Jay Feely posing with a gun and his daughter and his daughter's date are, I've looked at the demographic on social media, <laughs> it looks like it's pussy ass dumb fuck millennials that are offended by everything that Mm -hmm. don't have a pretty daughter that they want to protect nobody (laughs) that was offended by this was an actual father or mother it was the younger generation that can't take a fucking joke and I usually don't swear on this show but I'm fucking done calm down calm down holy shit dude it's like like dude I just don't get this (laughs) and then he had to say he's sorry he had to say he's sorry Mm -hmm. oh yeah because when you look at this picture he's obviously gonna shoot okay. his daughter's boyfriend okay. and then go to jail for 20 years. It should be a you know shotgun, what? man. It you know should be a shotgun. No, and, and I'm actually, sick of this fake outrage. That's what, piss, what pisses me off more is not the people getting offended, yeah. but the people who make these jokes and their whole intention was just to make a joke or whatever, but they actually have to go and apologize for what oh, they did. Oh, stop yeah. it, that, Jay Feely. Have some you're, balls. You're serious? Defend yourself. Really? Yeah. And, and, and like, stop, if we stop apologizing for stupid shit, then, then we'd actually like a lot of people would get to know like what what the real problems are. And then these people that are yeah. offended by these jokes, and then the person says sorry. 
Were you so offended that you couldn't put the key in your car and drive to work? Were you so offended and so outraged that you weren't able to pick up the fork at dinner and eat your crappy TV dinner because you're a broke loser? Were you so offended that you weren't able to have sex with your significant other? Did these jokes offend you so much that you weren't able to go on with your day? Or are you a loser with nothing going on in your life? So you want to get these public figures in trouble so you feel like you have some power. Fuck you. I'm sick of this shit. Wow. And it's just getting worse. It's just getting worse. And there are times that people deserve to get in trouble and at least say sorry. But this is an obvious joke. Anybody that was offended by this either didn't have a daughter or doesn't care about their daughter or hasn't seen their daughter in 10 years. I'm just, I'm at this point, man. It's like when you see the picture like, let me pull up him saying sorry. Let me see what he had to say about it. Because I just want to hear the fake, phony, baloney, lawyer not, bullshit. How are you not so outraged about the, yeah. the fake Trump news? It's a witch hunt, man. How are you not, like, outraged equally uh, based on our president? Because I, I don't care about him. Here's, like him. here's the quote. <laughs> The prom pic I put was obviously intended to be a joke. Thank you, Jay. My daughter has dated her boyfriend for over a year. Cool. And they knew I was joking. So if they knew he was joking, why do these people that write these mom and pop blogs that have these Tumblr or Twitter accounts with followers have to say? He goes on to say, I take gun safety seriously. Of course you do. The gun was not loaded and had no clip in. And I did not intend to be insensitive. Oh, sh come on, Jay. I know he works for CVS Sports, but can these corporate companies and can these corporate networks, AJ, have a spine in your back? Have some balls. Mm. Don't let them drop to the ground. Don't be pussies because of these losers that are offended and actually defend your coworker. I'm done with this. No, and 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 that's and that's the problem with a lot of corporations today because they know that before corporations would just be like, all right, let's take a minute, let's see, okay, what did you do? Was was the was the, was the thing that you did really that bad, or is it just the vocal minority getting outraged over nothing? But instead, nowadays, that the moment a little bit of tinder a little bit of spark of like some controversy and i say controversy with air quotes controversy that comes up they're quick to be like okay let's get away from this guy let's and who him. cares about jay feely uh -huh. he played for about 14 years so he had a great time in the nfl yeah. he had an accuracy 80 to eight of 82 uh, percent he had long field goals he made the pro bowl but at the end of the day he's just an athlete at yeah. the end of the day he just plays football mm -hmm. at the end of the day he's not a household name so anybody out there that needed a football player and they're dumb jocks who aren't smart at times if you were honestly offended by that i feel sorry yeah. that that's how you live your life i'm honestly feeling bad for you and looking down on you if you were honestly offended by this you're not a very creative person you're not somebody i would want to go to dinner with you're not somebody i would ever want to hang with in my life yeah. if you honestly needed a no-name football player and i'm not being mean but he's not paid to man or tom brady if you need a no-name football player to say sorry because you were offended over what he's doing in his life, yeah. then you're living life wrong. Uh, you know what? At the end of the day, he's a father. And yeah, so who wants to protect his daughter? Yeah. yeah. So what yeah. does it matter what he did? How many other exactly. fathers are there that aren't as popular as him? And, 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 you do you and do you obviously believe that he, he went out, like he brandished that gun like with intent to actually like think oh, oh yeah. if you try anything I'm going to shoot him for like well, I would I'm I a mean dad. okay well yeah, <laughs> I mean, but, that's, yeah. but that's the thing though no, it's I'm like serious about like it. <laughs> you, but people are acting as though as if like he was holding the gun to that kid's head he has time. a net worth of 6 million right. do you really think yeah. he wants to pay for the legal fees of murder and have all his ass his assets seized and then he goes to prison and his daughter doesn't right. have a father and then yeah. the kid's dead do you honestly think he was going to go through with the murder Anybody out there, call the show. 856-49-HOPPY. Did you honestly get offended just, by the picture? And look at it, AJ. It, it's just weak people who are looking, in this day and age, anything. Yeah. Like they, 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 a lot of people like to hear their own bullshit. A lot of people like to hear themselves talk. And the moment they can try to talk about a situation when nothing else is going on in their lives, and they're just like, oh, this guy, he he offends me. Uh -huh. So I'm going to let people know Pussies. that I'm offended. And I, I hate that fucking thing about being offended. Like, I want to be safe. I want to be uh -huh. in a place that, yeah. that I'm coddled. Uh -huh. Grow the fuck up. Grow up. I hate 
I hate these people. I've went to, I've been in like at USF. I've been surrounded by people like oh, that. Oh, that sounds like the worst. U- USF's not even that. You, like, it, and it's not even that bad considering like all these like colleges like Berkeley and stuff like that. But they yeah. were still around. Uh, it, and then like just some of the freaking stuff. Like there was a guy like a Bible protester in the lawn, and they didn't like what they were saying, and, uh. and so the, they they were complaining like, what should we do about them? They're saying words. They they bought uh, they bought they bought their they had the right to stand there because it was a public university and you could pay the college fifty dollars every hour to stand on that plot of land that was right there. And it's like, what do we do? And the guy's like, oh, we'll say that you were offended and say that you weren't feeling safe. I'm like. I'm like, are you kidding me? They're not attacking you. They're not. They're not doing anything harm to you. If you don't like what they say, don't give them any attention. That's I, a first-hand uh, example right there by somebody that's been in college, man. That's crazy. I, I, in, it, it sucks to see that happening, but it's, it's very mm-hmm. like, it's something that always comes up. And then there's, uh, like, there's a, a, a pro-life move, like a pro-life thing. And I'm not really a pro-life guy, right. but like. I don't want to get into that. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. one wants to get into that. But like, they were setting up. Let's all, talk about Jesus. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, no, they were set, they were setting up all this like uh, like a lot of pro life like those those uh, billboards that'll have pictures of like the dead fetuses yeah. and all that all around campuses. And you're like, okay, it's a public university. It's kind of I don't really want to be looking at that shit. But they have the right to be here. AJ, let me ask you for real. Mm-hmm. And I hate to interrupt you, but yeah. but. Is it really in every campus? I mean, I saw it like once at Ridge Road in 19 in New it's, Portage. It's, it's, it's not, not everywhere, and it's, it's just the media showing it to us okay. all the time. Oh, yeah, I'll give you that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not, not it's really not the majority. It's, it's, it's a it's, very small minority. Yeah, it really it's, is. It's not everywhere, but like there are the, there are there's a lot there's enough to it where it's being talked about. Maybe it's enough on the TV yeah. for it to be talked about. But anyways, about. but anyways, so, like, so I think it's getting pretty bad. I, and I'm not just saying that. I think the media blows up a lot of things. It, Do you see stuff like the, that in real person? Both what? of you. The, uh, see what? See what? Like 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 a, a pro, uh, anti-abortion uh, dead babies on the side of the road. Do you Yo, really see all that? the time? Yeah, well, all saw, the time. Well, really? Okay, where? Okay, no. But the, my going down Dale Mabry, you see people. Not all the my time. Age, it, it, enough. No. It's I, not, no, no. Well, my, my argument isn't with the with the, like. There's not a lot of anti-abortion uh, arguments out there, considering the fact that the way society's moving is to its more okay. But what I'm saying is, is that the these girl like these people would like. I I know that it's their right to stand and protest, so I'm not going to do anything. But there's one girl that you can see. We were at the smoking patio. Everyone was sitting there. It was everyone was coming out at lunchtime, and then freaking she sees it. She gets triggered. She doesn't uh. like what they're doing, so she freaking tries to grab one of the signs and said, "Don't be stupid, be pro-choice," and then starts <laughs> running and trips, falls, <laughs> sprains her ankle. That's awesome. And then the very same people she stole a sign for uh, from them, they helped her. Right? They helped her yeah. out. Yeah. And um and like but like when everyone was laughing. <laughs> Everyone was there because she got right in the middle. It was like that. It was a big campus hub. We were like right in front of the library. And then everyone, she just tripped, fell, she sprained, and she was like, <sighs> and then I was like, good. Yeah, that's what you deserve. Yeah. That is what you deserve because, like, although what you might not agree with what they say, you can't just be a dick and, and karma and, and just Literally. take things I just, in your I don't. Head. I don't really think that it's as big of a, uh, an epidemic as, as it's made out to be on the media. No, I, I, I don't I, see it every day. I really I don't. I do because I uh. just... I feel you know, how it. small is uh, your your point of view? No, no offense to you, but how how big is your point of view compared to the entire world? Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, look, they're, they're pumping it down our throats on TV, media, man. Okay, it's not really happening like that. Now, what a lot of media like to say is that these millennials that are going to college, all of them are, are these are these triggered SJW social justice yeah. warriors. Yeah, yeah, I hate get, that word. Who get mad at everything? Antifa. Well, here, okay, that's I can tell you from firsthand that is wrong. Actually, there's some campuses where the majority. They're con- like they're either conservative or people who just don't give a shit, and they're trying to go like, yeah. to, they're trying to get their degree. They're not into protesting. They just want to do what they have to do in order to have a good life. Mm-hmm. Now, however, the way social media is is that the min- the minority that's all for like protesting and being triggered and stuff like that, they're. Their like their their uh, voice is magnified because yeah, there's enough of them out there, but they're still a minority. There's like four of them out there. No, but you know what? They I get hate? all the they're, press. If you look at their exactly. timeline, dude, they'll tweet every sponsor, and they're like, uh, let's say Tide, you need to leave Laura Ingram or Coke. You need to leave Laura Ingram. Like they literally have no lives. It's infuriating, and yeah, and, and it's just and like I've had friends on both sides. 
And um, I've been friends with people who are just like, oh, I got to find a way to, we got to go up to the campus. We got to tell them that they're impeding on our safe space. And oh, my whatever. God. And the amount of times where I yeah. try to reason with them, where I'm like, look, yeah, what the, like, and, and, and there's some protesters who are dicks, but at the same time, like, they're not doing anything illegal. They're not harming you. They're not making you sit there and listen to it. What they're doing is just they're trying to get their word out, and if you want to listen to it, be be their guest. But, listen to it. But, bro, but those those pissed. same very people that you're talking about mm-hmm. seem to side on the uh, uh, they they err to the side of being fascists while saying yeah. Yeah. You're a fascist. Because they're trying to control what people it's say, unreal. Uh-huh. which is stupid. And they think that, like, oh, you're a fascist because you believe this. Actually, no. Like you said, you are, you no. are yeah. because you're trying to control like, Trying to control speech is exactly what fascists do. 1984, I bitch. I think we should all become... Boom! We should all, we should all tackle some Antifa tonight. <laughs> Shut up! I, I hate, I hate <laughs> those people. Dude, they are <laughs> such scum of the earth. Are you familiar with Milo Yiannopoulos? Yeah. Oh, dude, he is so, such he's a, a creep. He's a provocateur, but here's Ugh. the thing: I, my, my friend, one of my good friends, Ryan Hoskins, he actually interviewed Milo, and like at, in USF, really, because he's uh, the leader of the libertar- like the Libertarian Club over there. Okay, so uh, he's a really smart guy, really cool, and he said he wanted Milo to first of all because Milo attracts people. Mm-hmm. Second of all. Milo, at the time when Milo was famous before all that pedophile shit came out. Yeah. Um, he looks like a pedophile. Like, dude, you're like 30. Quit looking like you're you in know, a club he, in 2005. He, 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 douche. Still, he still had some things to say in terms of free speech. What he says is brilliant. I, I wouldn't say it. Like I'm not. I mean, I some I, of it's I good. He's kind of like Alex Jones, where a lot of it's good, but he says so much garbage that it's hard to listen to. I, him. I, That's I, his I, issue. I really, I don't know, man. I, I disagree. I really, okay, cool. I really like Milo on the on on his stance with free speech. I'm yeah, like, yeah. it's all okay or nothing. None of it's and, okay. And I like Ben Shapiro as well. You know? Yeah, Ben Shapiro is good. Jordan Peterson, another one. But we can go on on another. Yeah. So so yeah, no, Milo came, and so like there is like all these pro like they tried to stop Milo from speaking. Yeah. And uh, they were they're just out there. They were protesting, da, 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 and then they freaking they had to bring the cops in because they're getting too unruly. Like these people, no, they, that's what happened at Berkeley. He couldn't yeah. even speak. But, but Berkeley was to, like it was on Ber- fire. Berkeley was USF, but to like a hundred times worse. Gotcha. <laughs> then yeah. like like Ber- uh, USF wasn't even that like wasn't even bad. Like they were just like, hey, stop him from speaking. Uh, no, he actually was able to come here and actually bought the space. They're like, okay. And they well, just left, which was... Why does Ryan Hoppe get so triggered when we talk about stuff like that? About what? About uh, the other side of the coin. The other side so of the... He just uh, rubs media. me the wrong way. Like, I've seen him on Anthony I, Cumia, and I want to like what he says. Yeah. I really, really... And I think... Um, listen to me. Li- listen to me. I bet you think a lot of times that if they're on the right, I don't like them. And if they're right wing, I don't agree with them. I don't like anybody on the right or left side. I really believe if your opinion side on one side, like let's say Anthony Cumia, yeah. Alex Jones, Milo, Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, I don't like you. But if you're Bill, well, I do like Anthony from Opie and Anthony. But what I'm saying is I, I don't like the left either. I don't like Rachel Maddow. I don't like anybody on CNN. I don't like anybody like Bill Press or Tom Hartman or any of the liberal shows. I think if you're so one-sided, then you are closed minded idiot and uh just go because like i'm i'm a conservative at least f- like fiscally i know yeah, i am yeah. so on mm-hmm. li- liberal like on social stuff i'm, I'm i like less government so yeah you know, so first and foremost you know <laughs> i used to i used to really enjoy what milo yiannopoulos was saying and i used to really like him what made me kind of go away from him and this was before like all that stuff that came out uh with him that what he was talking about with uh pedophilia and stuff like that uh what i didn't like about him the more and more i listened to him the more and more he it was more of show like it was more about showboating it was more about provoking and that's cool too and if you're going for the freedom of speech if you're going for the freedom of speech argument but he was trying to delve into more topics that he wasn't trying to listen to other people he would rather just be like shut up you whore I and, think- and which which is kind of which is funny but at the same time like if you go with Ben Shapiro and people like Ben Shapiro Adam and Jordan is the best. and Jordan Peterson, Adam Carolla man he's the best too and and they're actually able to like, like they're like, okay, give me anyone to go up against in a debate, and I, I will run in circles with them. And they and they end, they end up doing. Can I say something about uh, Milo? Not it's not even really about Milo, mm-hmm. but you think about just because the guy is openly gay, okay, and yeah. was like dating a black guy, okay. Yeah. Everybody called him racist. 
They called him a yeah. Uh, well, that was dumb. That was xenophobe, the idiotic. And they're all calling, this weird stuff. And they were calling him. Well, he lost a book deal, and I think that's where you might be, uh, uh, where you may have lost track of the things that you liked about him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because he was defending himself and trying to salvage a book deal. And at that point in his career, I think that it went a little sour. Yeah. But his message never changed. Yeah. He was all about spree- free speech, and he still is. No, no, and you I, know I, what I mean, and I, and I told, and, and I'm not a champion for him. You know, I'm just saying. I'm well, in. You know, I totally I'm agree. indifferent. I want to like him, but a lot of the things. He says he just loses me. Wow. But that's how any of them are. They all lose me. How do you not get side. lost on just watching TV? All of it is so badly biased. It's horrible. Exactly. That's it's, why I don't watch cable news. Good. If I'm, if I'm at the gym you. and it's on TV, I literally will not look. It's like my kryptonite. I despise CNN. I despise Fox News. It's I despise so good MSNBC. for podcasts, man. It's yeah. so good for podcasts. Our effing idiots. What's up, yeah. AJ? I and and I, the part of the reason why I hate Fox News is because my my dad watches it all the time. Oh God, it sounds horrendous. And Ugh. and like whenever like he, it's a sliver of truth compared to the nonstop berating witch hunt of the president. Although you don't yeah, watch any of those. What I like to do is overpaid actually, losers. I like to, I like I'm not watch, watching them exclusively. I'm just like where I get my news is uh, BBC because it's like an out, outside. I get my news Daily from Mail. Hour. I get oh, happy yeah, hour. That's, I, uh, that's a reputable. Yeah, oh, that's so great. <laughs> what talking about Jersey Shore last week? Which I've been watching. I love that show. <laughs> Let me see. Wait. Let's see. Yeah, that's funny. The the one guy in the chat, CNN, Communist News Network. Yeah, Clinton News Network. Yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, I like. That I don't better. like. I don't uh, like. I don't like CNN. They're uh, all I, bad. I, but I I, I like the shows that they have. I don't I, like their I, news I, report. I, they have good documentaries no, about terrible. the '90s. I'm not saying that on anything with Clinton or Trump. Their reporting's ter- terrible. But I would say I do like their documentaries. And I like the way they're more cultural. They're shows that aren't news. How can you disagree with me? Because you don't like they, I love the '90s or whatever they like had. A, well, it, here's it, I'm not well, talking here's about the news. We're all missing. You know, there's all these big networks out there, but freaking local news channels they're they're way better than these big ones. Because they're not, bi- you can tell they're not biased. Maybe some. Charlie like Belcher's great in the morning. Dude, Jen, some, I love all of them. Yeah, yeah like ABC, ABC, Fox, like Sean Fox Daly, News, my like, dude, he's great. In the morning, I, I like getting my, I like mostly getting my like TV news off of there because it's just you want to listen. Especially to here in Tampa, when you have a local morning news show like up in Chicago, WGN Morning News, I like the local. Market news compared to like let's say uh, Good Morning America. Oh, those are terrible programs. Yeah, but I prefer like seeing local Tampa news or when I was in Cleveland. I get my news from South Park, The Simpsons. Yeah, that's Uh, yeah, that's six months old Simpson humor. Yeah, so so Simpsons did it, man. (laughs) Guess what? (laughs) What? Next Next on on Happy Hour. I have a topic for you. Oh, God. It really pissed me off. This show over. 18 Syracuse University fraternity brother douchebags <laughs> are kicked out of their classes after second offensive video surfaces. 18 members of Syracuse University's Theta Tau fraternity were removed from academic participation on Sunday. Guess why, AJ? Why, Hoppy? Here's what happened. They Just were guess. banned the from dropping? the school after a video emerged of them using racial slurs. Uh. Here's what happened. On Sunday, a second offensive video emerged showing members simulating a disabled person being forced to perform oral sex. What? University President Kent called the video appalling and gross. Here's what it says here. They were using the N-word, the K-word, and the S word. What's the K word? Um, it's it's it rhymes with bike. Okay. And then the last one rhymes with lick. It begins with an S. Dude, you know what? I, I'm I'm Hispanic, so I can say it's thick. Yeah. I don't know I, any I of these words. It. What I'm is not you? racist. I don't know the words. That's good. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm proud so, of you. I'm so happy. Dude. It's happy hour. You know what the worst thing about frats is? What? These are like the kind of cool kids. Frats? either are the over-the-top jocks that weren't good enough to play sports in college so they're living their years out getting drunk or frats are the kids that were on the swim team or the kids that were on the let's say soccer team that were kind of cool through 9th and 12th grade but now they have a frat so they take advantage of girls and they take advantage of everybody fraternities I would say 50% of them are good 50% of them are not. Now, you're going to say, Ryan, you went to a radio trade school. 
Ryan, you dropped out of community college. What do you know? I've heard stories. You read news reports. There's enough of these imbeciles to go around. AJ? Yeah. You took the more conservative, the more normal route in life by going to USF and going to school. Am I right about the fraternity lifestyle? Am I right about how they are? Or am I being a little bit over the top? Am I not being fair to them? No, I... I I don't really respect fraternity. I mean, okay, no, there's it's some It's very fraternity. weird because they're, they're very homophobic, AJ, no, but then they're okay. the ones that do all the weird ball sacking. No, okay, so <laughs> in terms of stuff, look, they're not. What were you in, AJ? <laughs> no, no, no. So they're not. They're not. I'll, I'll say this. Go on. Most of them are not as bad as what you would think they are, but there still is that kind of there's toxic. There's plenty. There's, there's still, there's, there's, there's a good amount, but it's not the majority. Some of them are actually good-hearted, though. Some of them are normal. I mean, Ryan got catfished, and AJ got there, ball sacked. There's some. <laughs> that was fantastic. Thank it you. was great. Thank you. Um, no, uh, no. There's some of the. There's some of the. Like it's still a toxic environment. I, I've, I've heard of. Like there's still a very toxic environment. But honestly, I don't. The, the fact of paying to have friends just is kind of a stupid concept. And I made friends with a lot of people in fraternities. So I, it like, and they got me into parties that I didn't like, I otherwise I'd have to pay for. You were too not cool to get into. You were lucky. You had the inside scoop. But some kind of, of like working in the radio, you get free I tickets, mean, but free trips in the frat. But some of those frat guys turn out to be lawyers and doctors. Yeah, right? no, like, and then, you know, the fraternities, there, there are, I'm, there are a lot of fraternities that are like, okay, this is just kind of more of, it's just kind of more for the like say like the the special contacts like there's brothers like say if you go out and get a job at a law firm and the guy's like oh you were in sigma kappa alpha whatever the fuck oh, and yeah. there's like oh me too oh oh oh, oh, oh boy <laughs> hey let's get it and so they do you have a six pack like me I do know, and yes. it's it's actually you know going to fraternities and sororities it's really good with networking. It's actually scary good how how good fraternities is. So there's so a why lot not of, just make it up. There's a lot of advantages, you know. But you know, I don't know. It, it, it's just my thing with fraternities is is that I I don't really I, I didn't really see that big of a thing. I, I I'm gonna retract the statement where I don't respect that. There's a lot of fraternities which I do respect, but then there's a lot of fraternities that create a bad environment uh, in terms of like binge drinking, in terms of raping women, in terms of you would have done that anyway. Yeah, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, okay, if you're going to pick a fraternity like to fake it just so you can get, you know, ahead in life, would you pick uh, Kai uh, Beta Delta from uh, Revenge of the Nerds? Or <laughs> oh, I definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or no, Lambda Lambda Lambda. Lambda Lambda Lambda. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant. That's a great, that's a great one. That was a test. You, you passed. Good. Cool. Um, Next on Hobby Hour. <laughs> you got any final words about that segment? You good, AJ? Or are you good? I'm good. Uh, fraternity's all right. Just don't be... Idiots. That's all I can say. Don't you. rape women. Don't don't rape. Well, yeah, yeah, I would hope. Please help. don't rape women. Don't rape. So, dude, when I saw this next headline from CNN, I honestly was a little thrown off. But then you think about who we're talking about, and we're talking about Lil Wayne. You think about, oh yeah, I'm not really that surprised. Like I first wanted to give him some credit. But honestly, uh-huh. a guy whose lyrics are "I'm rich as f," all my friends were rich as f. Not that's not the lyrics, but that's the lyrics I'll say. Uh, I'm not that surprised about this next headline from TMZ.com. Here's what happened. Lil Wayne said, my people will shoot anyone who throws things on stage. <laughs> Dude, I'll say this. I went to see Lil Wayne at Janice Live. Here's the rose. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Dude. Oh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> we really shouldn't be joking about you, that. You but, try to throw roses in my stage, bitch. <laughs> Wayne up in here. Yeah, so yeah. I saw him <laughs> at Janice. About nine, eight months ago, whatever was the first week of September. Why? I hope you were working. Did it was insane because it was crowded with kids my age that were either high, tripping, or drunk, and I was very drunk. And I'm in the middle of the crowd. I'm in like this mosh pit that I didn't know was beginning. And Standing everyone tall above everyone else, yeah. you know. And you know what's weird? There's is the tree I, and there's Hoppy. He's like the, he's <laughs> like the buoy in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> just, it's so it sticks well, you've been out to so Janice, well. See, there's that big tree that everybody like goes yeah. to first, you know. And there's Hoppy next to it. But people dude, were, that's like, where the cult congregates. Yeah. It was raining and people were under Hoppy. Like, oh, yeah. this is great. Oh, this is if great. you go to let's say a Doobie Brothers concert, oh, look, and you're here's in a, an apple. It gives apples. <laughs> so <laughs> say it. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, if you go to a Doobie Brothers concert. Uh-huh, yeah. mm-hmm. 
It's a very chill environment, I would imagine. But dude, I went into the crowd with my friend and I thought, if there's a shooting, I'm dead. Literally. Because it's frightening, dude. Because what happens is everyone's shoving and then you have to wait for the concert to end. And it's, it was fun seeing Lil Wayne so close up. But... He's on your shoulder. <laughs> and he's doing songs about oral sex and violence. And you know what's weird? Is having the crowd rap lyrics to these dirty songs. And you go, this is like the kid version. Like for my age group of, let's say, you guys seeing ACDC and saying the lyrics to Back in Black. I be eating that pussy. I mean, none. And it's just weird hearing everybody say it at the same time. And you go, man, these lyrics are vulgar. Man, these lyrics are bad. Man, these lyrics are awful. Man, these lyrics are not that of a good role model. And you grow up listening to him, thinking he's cool. And now you look at him and you go, what is wrong with you? As it says here. Lil Wayne gave concert goers an ominous warning. If you throw things onto the stage, you're going to get shot. Lil Wayne was performing Saturday night at the Cannabis Cup at NOS Event Center in San Bernardino. Which you would think... Jesus. Here it is. Let's go! And the NRA, Lil Wayne's New Orleans people won't be shooting back at the crowd. Dude, if I heard that coming from the person that I pay to see, I would be scared crapless. I would be like, you know what, dude? No. I'm good. But that's a problem, though. Like, people throwing shit on the... On, like, remember that one video with, I think like, it's a bigger problem that he shoots back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, like, did you see that... Did you see uh, that video of Justin Bieber? He was, like, he was yeah, performing when he was young. Yeah. <laughs> he got beamed in the head with a freaking bag of... Like, what, what was it? Like, it was a water bottle. Ah, uh, yeah, shoot him. Or, or like, a, or a, no, a Sour Patch Kids. And <laughs> right in that head, he's like, fuck Yeah, that, and that, that Sour Patch Kids package hit him in the head so hard, he turned a little pump. Yeah. And all of a sudden he's like Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci yeah. Gang. Yeah, you got the guy with the gummy worms. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. Put so down for what? Last week, <laughs> here's what happened. We had this one segment that didn't go as I thought it would go. I was so excited about the prep I brought in, taking it from right. Oh, is this gonna be? <laughs> That is this gonna be shower thoughts. Oh man, I can't wait. I've been waiting all week. Uh, I've been waiting yeah. for this. I'm oh, in the shower thinking. I about haven't this. showered in a week waiting for this, man. Yeah, now I can go to the shower tonight and actually I'm gonna, think. I'm, I'm gonna drop my pants right Do now. Do it, yeah. yeah. Oh god, get it over here. <laughs> Next on Happy Hour, dude. Now it's time for shower thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought was gonna. Oh, Dude, uh, I was thinking about this last night. I bet you were. Oh, yeah. God. I don't know why I make it so weird when I mumble like that. Why did you text me so much last night, man? I didn't really text you. Yeah, you did a lot. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, why is... <laughs> one of my <laughs> testicles went inside of me. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Dude, you know what I was thinking about last night? This is an actual, genuine thought. <laughs> <laughs> why won't it come back out? <laughs> Let me get that for you, man. We're <laughs> friends. It's all good. Just grab that and pull it down, man. Oh, my God. It's like I just relax. You know what I was thinking about? What's a BJ? Just let it happen. <laughs> just let it happen, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, AJ. What the hell, man? <laughs> it was good. The bit was going good, and you took it weird, man. <laughs> he had to be there. Yeah, it did. Have been there. Okay. Yeah. He did ask me that, though. It was really awkward. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So, thoughts. last night, me and my girl were bored. We didn't know what to do. So we went to Walmart and we bought snacks. And we, I don't know. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Keep going. That salt. That would be my favorite thing to do. I love doing that. Okay, so we went to Walmart. We bought some snacks, and I thought we were just gonna watch like Amazon Prime or Netflix. 
She ends up getting a movie from Redbox, which is fine. We watched Jumanji. It was like a five out of ten. Not bad, not good. Um, you know what's weird? Mm. Is you think about it. Remember when Redbox was like revolutionary and the idea of getting a movie while shopping was actually cool like remember when you would be in line to get a red box dvd and there would be the two people in front of you and there'd be that one person that would be skimming at every movie reading the info going back and then adding a movie to their list and then going back and going you know what i don't think i want garfield in the movie from 2005 i think i want pluto nash from 2002 with eddie murphy oh wait no i want that so, do you remember how annoying it was? But then you finally got the DVD, and you only you only paid ninety nine cents for that day. So you go, wow, I only paid ninety nine cents to see, let's say, The Dark Knight again in two thousand and eight. But then the you forget thing. about it, and then a week later you owe ten bucks. Remember that those good old days, of Redbox. Redbox was just a was just a smaller blockbuster. That's all it is. Yeah, I'm not impressed. I'm not. Know, I wasn't. Right. I, I looked at that thing. I stand. I, I I stood outside. I must have been different. I stood in front of it for like two minutes. I'm like, yeah. Well, it's different for you guys because you guys were here in Florida. But during the time it came out, if it was negative twenty out in Chicago and you had nothing else to do, you were going to Jewel Osco or Dominic's grocery Dominic's. store yeah. in Chicago. And you were renting a movie because there was yeah. nothing and else to do. And you're standing outside that red box, and it's ice cold out, and you put that <laughs> little drape thing over your ears, <laughs> and you're looking at that screen, and then you get mugged and shot. Uh, when I was in the suburbs, so I was fine. Yeah. Any shower thoughts on your mind, Angel? Yeah, actually, yeah. I was wondering, um, when showering, and, and thanks for taking my call. First time caller, <laughs> long time listener. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was wondering, when taking a shower... Uh, when you're about to, um, you know, drain, do you kick your foot over the, the actual floor drain to make sure there's no hair before you release? Or do you just let it become like a big mess? I have not thought about that. I'm but asking I like that for idea. a friend. I, it's not me. I, I, I take it. I, I, I'm a man about it, and I just take it. Oh, my yeah. You are a man. In the trash. You just, you, you're making like high Oh, you throw it in the trash. Yeah. You handle it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like, I'm wondering where just like or to put it. I flush it down the toilet, whatever. Uh, I'm thinking the drain. Just kick the hair out of the drain and just let it go, you know, right, right into the, you know. Well, sometimes you have the drain that's like. Uh, it's got the holes in the it. The holes in yeah. it, and it just doesn't go. So, through. You, what you do is you let the water pool up with your ankles like this, you know, and you can make a little, like, a bathtub with your ankles, and the water pools up, and then you take your finger and you swirl it so it goes counterclockwise, and it, you know, what? Yeah. No, 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 no. That's good. <laughs> yes. No, I was, I was, I was like. So I'm told. Oh, no, okay. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try that next I, time. Is it not shower talk? I mean. No, no, it's shower talk. Shower talk. thoughts. I'm sorry I talked. Shower talk. God damn it, I'm sorry. Hey, welcome to shower talk. So did you guys loofah before you shampoo? I ruined it. You shampoo? <laughs> well, I, it's a funny thing you should say. I loofah oh before I shampoo. <laughs> that's funny. Um, what kind of soap know. you rocking, man? What kind of soap I'm rocking? Yeah. I'm, I'm walking that. That um, do, like that uh, Dove Men's Care. Is it like a three in one, two in one? Oh, that's why you smelled so good at work. Oh my I God, know, I, I always smell great. Every actually, you know, it's funny. A lot of people that go up to me, like, dude, you smell great. Yeah, your hair. Is I would have sexy if I was a girl. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Now I wish you can tell those girls that. You know, I've known so. you for a while now, and I never noticed you had red hair. I know your 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 moniker is uh, Promo Red, okay, but your hair was shorter. It's grown in the last uh, few yeah. months or whatever. And uh, it's actually quite red. Yeah, it's... And what's funny, though... What's your too, secret? My secret? <laughs> a, a lot of orange... <laughs> a lot of orange Gatorade. Yeah. Um, I don't go out in the sun that much. Yeah, you know. Um, actually, that's not true. I if you look at pictures summer. of us, you, we all look very tan. Like, yeah. you can tell we live in Florida. Like, that picture we took last week with Attorney Fantetti, yeah. all four of us look incredibly tan. So you're like a very tan ginger, AJ. Well, yeah, you're mean, one of the four in this country. You're weird ass well, motherfucker. Uh, some people ask me, like, oh, like, well, you're ginger and you're like going through elementary school, especially because of that, you know, kick a ginger day was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. growing popular. Like, how did, you, how did you do it? And I was like, well, I just looked a lot less ginger than other people. I didn't <laughs> have the freckles. I didn't have I kicked the, you. You're a ginger. I, didn't have a I kicked it's not you. Today. Is it kick a ginger day? Today? It is. No. Woo! And plus, I was bigger than Celebrate a lot of the kids. Celebrate times. There you go. And my thing, so they did. You play football. I played football and baseball. Can look at his muscles. How would you not assume he did? I saw his Facebook. He had a football helmet on. You know, were you creeping on it a little bit? And we're on controlling it. You know, creeps. what? It's fun. You guys got anything else? Um, Marina's gonna shower. kill the bit. I would love to say thank you to Michael. <laughs> 
Miguel Fuller for calling in tonight. Yeah. And third leg, Greg, that was really cool. Here's she the deal. Really got, uh, We're going to come back and wrap up everything. Why don't we just wrap it up now? Because I want to play a commercial break. Oh, my yeah, God. Come on, you got a good this. commercial this time? Because your last ones were awesome. No, mm-hmm. I'm serious. Uh, Metro PCS. <laughs> Happy hour. Happy hour. What's up? This is Ryan Hoppy, host of the two-time award-winning Hoppy Hour podcast. And I am proud to announce about my new sponsor here in the Tampa Bay area, Speedy Link, the best Metro PCS dealer in all of the Bay Area. They have 22 locations covering this great Bay Area from Dade City all the way to Sarasota. Maybe you're sick and tired of your current cell phone dealer and you're just thinking, man, I really want to switch to Metro PCS. If you go there to their main store at 7813 Palm River Road, and that's in Tampa, and you tell them that Ryan Hoppy sent you and that you're a listener of Hoppy Hour, they will hook you up with a great deal. What are you waiting for? Give them a call now at 813-626-0297. That's 813-626-0297. And visit them at 7813 Palm River Road in Tampa. Tell them I sent you. What's up, guys? It's Ryan Hoppy from Hoppy Hour. And I am proud to tell you guys about my partnership with Electronic. They give you Bluetooth audio devices with an enhanced sound so you can jam out to your favorite songs anywhere. You can use the speakers from such devices as your phone, your computer, or any Bluetooth-capable device. You can also use it as a hands-free speaker in your car to take calls. It's that easy, I tell you. It's very portable, and you can bring them anywhere with its long sessions, which can give you up to 20 hours of non-stop power with a Bluetooth range of 30 to 50 feet. Now, if you go to malectronic.com and at checkout, use keyword hobby, you can save 20%. That's malectronic.com and at checkout, use the keyword hobby. That is M-A-L-E-K-T-R-O-N-I-C dot com. Malectronic. Sounds perfect. Voted as best internet radio show in Tampa Bay, you're tuned into Hoppy Hour. Call Hoppy now, 856 49 Hoppy. This segment is being brought to you by Maltronic.com. At checkout, use keyword Hoppy for 20% off. It's time to turn Hoppy on. <laughs> Thanks to my girl, Melissa, for making those drops. Dude, she can literally do voiceover in any city she wants. The way she has that voice. I'm like, like I'm turning it's up. It's time yeah. to turn Hoppy on. Oh. You like that waterfall sound effect? You know what I did there? It's, it's time, time to turn Hoppy, hoppy on. on. All right, AJ, we were talking during the yeah. break, which is like two minutes. Um, what was the shower thought you had? So the other day in the shower, I was like, uh, the word, yeah. the word movie is wildly wildly outdated the word movie why so you know why they call it movies right because it's moving pictures oh it's a movie let's call them movies <laughs> hey. the, the kind of the way it's like oh when they started talking oh let's call it talkies they're they they like to talk a lot hey well look at so movies let's go out and see a movie tonight it's, it's kind of outdated like it's just the way it goes it's like because like the, the, that back then, that was a time where if it does a certain thing, that's the name of it. It's a moving picture. It's a moving picture. It's hey, it they use this process on a kinoscope. <sighs> and uh, yeah, that's that's the only shower. Th- I mean, that's kind of. I mean, am I not wrong about that? My kid asked me today about cassette tapes again, uh, and yeah. she said, "Isn't that with the magnetic tape?" And I was like, what? "Actually, yeah, you're so well, smart. Well. Yeah, welcome which to kid? The older one. Ah, oh, she's actually kind of smart." Yeah. She's real sassy though. Dude. How bad is it getting? It's not it's not bad. It's good. I think you hold down. I'm a great dad, Ryan. I'm a really good dad. <laughs> has she has she thrown the I hate you dad yet? No, no, no. That's no. not till sixteen. No, I keep shaking her a lot, so she's afraid <laughs> to. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> that's not, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just you know, whenever your child gets up, ups- like is upsetting you, just give him a good old shake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a, not a baby. <laughs> not a baby. Stop crying. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. 
God. No, my kids are amazing, dude. I have, I have the uh, two best kids in the world. You know, mm-hmm. you're just saying that because you're on this widely listened to show. No, no, I'm serious. I have the oh. best kids ever. Kevin, anything else on your mind before uh, we? Uh, yeah, KevinHollyShow dot com, and uh, I have Chihuahuas uh, that will uh, will be born uh, May tenth ish, uh-huh. and uh, they'll be for sale <laughs> in uh, uh, July. Chihuahuas are all right. Yeah, they're okay. They're cool. Yeah, I want to pimp out my chihuahuas on your show. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. <laughs> Happy, Happy hour is about to end, but first, it's time for last call. Happy hour is about to end, but first, it's time for last call. AJ, yes. what is going on in the world of what's, AJ? What's going on in the world of AJ? So, for the next two days, so tomorrow I'm going to be out at Quaker Steak and Lube. It's going to be me. And my good friend Drew Garabo are gonna be out there. Come visit us. Have some good food. Cool. It's bike night. Bike night. So if you drive a motorcycle, preferably a Harley, come over here. And the next two days in Hooters, uh, there's gonna be an NFL draft party hosted by the Bone. Oh, I will yeah. be there. And also, I'm gonna be on the Lazy Ass Podcast oh, this yeah. Saturday. Woo-hoo! And yeah, that's about it. You can follow me at Promo Red 1025 on Twitter. You can follow the podcast at Those Lazy Asses, the Lazy Ass Podcast on Twitter, and give us a like on Facebook, the Lazy Ass Podcast. Ryan, uh, I, I almost forgot. Tomorrow night, Kevin Holly Show. Oh. Local Tampa, Cigar City style, Tampa comedian, Donnie Stopa. Donnie Stopa. Yeah! yeah! A lot of horns, man. You're horny as hell tonight. Uh, it's been a, it's been a month. It's time to turn hoppy. It's time to when turn you're backed up for a month, on. you're a little horny. Are you up? Let's turn hoppy on. <laughs> Let's turn him off. Let's turn uh. hoppy on. You should have her say that. So at the end of the show, he's like, "Let's turn hoppy on." Uh. Go to seven eight one three Palm River Road in Tampa, one of the twenty two locations that is there for Speedy Link Wireless, all the way from. Dade City to Sarasota. I will be there at 7813 Palm River Road at the main store, the headquarters, Mm -hmm. from 12 to 2 p.m. this Thursday. Call them at 813-626-0297. It's 813-626-0297. I will be there at the Metro PCS dealer. Speedy Link Wireless, 12 to 2 on Thursday. It's going to be a fun time. Come by, get some free swag. And if you're with a different carrier and you've been hating on them recently and you're sick and tired of them, if you go there and sign up for Metro PCS, you will be hooked up with two months unlimited data. Isn't that a great thing? Woo. Amazing. Also, go to Mailectronic, Mailectronic.com, M-A-L-E-K-T-R-O-N-I-C.com. If you go there and buy the best headphones, speakers, Bluetooth-capable devices, and at checkout, use keyword Hoppy, you will save 20%. All right. Also, go to tinyurl.com slash hoppyhourdecal. That's tinyurl.com slash hoppyhourdecal. For just two bucks, you can get Hoppy Hour decals and support small business in Minnesota. Good old Duluth. And my guy, Nicholas Seymour of Soli's Graphics. Ryan Hoppy Radio on Twitter. Graham, Ryan Hoppy Radio at gmail.com. Like the page Hoppy Hour on Facebook. Hoppy Radio on Snapchat. RyanHoppyRadio.com. Ah, oh, man. Professional boxer, Ryan Hoppy. One in one career. Where are you going to fight next, man? Yeah. What's up? If I'm needed at the next punch out, I'm there. Right now. Yeah. Kevin and Hoppy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you thought Hoppy Hour was over, bitches. No, Kevin and Hoppy. <laughs> it's just beginning. Come on, man. Go fuck yourself. I was actually being serious, man, but okay. I was being serious, too. Yeah, I guess we were disappointed. Ow, you flinched! Ow, you flinched! You I was going to throw a piece of paper at you. You flinched! Ow. Okay. All right. This is getting really hacky. We had such a good <laughs> show. Now it's ending on a <laughs> fumble. Oh, see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> on the Fargo Morning Zoo. Bye. Happy hour. Happy hour.